So yesterday was a huge day for DeepLearn.js. DeepLearn.js is now officially TensorFlow.js with Deep version 0 0.6. And then they have now migrated to the TFGS core. So this is good news because that means that they're going to have more support and it's going to be better well known now because TensorFlow was, of course, a well-known brand. And there's a migration guide here. This is their new website. They've got a cool uh, Pac-Man demo thing that you can control by your with your head or whatever you want to do. Now, this is a treat for you guys. I have actually upgraded one of my uh, examples that I've done. Remember that quadratic equation example? Well, I wanted to see how easy it was to migrate to DeepLearn.js, so I cloned this and then converted it to uh, to the new one. And it's actually quite simple to do. I'll just show you what I've done here. So in order to migrate, you have to include uh, a new package. So before, um, I was using, well, the, the old one, it uses DeepLearn.js, which uh, here. Now, with this uh, update, we're using TensorFlow, TFGS. And then I have sub-modules as well. So that's nice, it's more clean, and uh, the examples repository for DeepLearn.js is now in its own repository as well, on the TensorFlow.js GitHub. Um, so what I also done is I had to upgrade Webpack to Webpack uh, here. In terms of what I had to do to change the code, it's actually quite simple. Before it was DeepLearn, DL from DeepLearn, now you just replace TF, from DL with the TF, like so. And this is the uh, the example for trailing the, the quadratics. You can watch that in one of my previous videos. And just to prove that it worked, I compiled it. And uh, if we just run it in a browser, it does this little training thing and then shows you the output values of the quadratics. So that's it. That's that's um, TensorFlow JS for you. I also took the liberty of starting a meetup in London for TensorFlow JS. So if you guys are in London, feel free to pop along to our meetup coming in May. We have another fifteen or so spaces left, and I'm really really excited about this library. I am actually pouring all my effort into learning this right now because it's just, I mean. React and Ember and just DOM manipulation, it's all good and well, but this here I think is going to be huge for the future, so I'm, I'm hedging my bets around this, this library. Thanks, Gal, and I'll see you soon, soon with some more deep, uh, sorry, TensorFlow.js tutorials and other tutorials when I can figure out what to teach you guys. See ya, bye.